I got my start back in the 90s in the United States teaching jiu-jitsu. Sometime in the middle 90s, I decided to, to start training fighters. And uh, we got a pretty successful team out there of fighters. And uh, to this day, that's what I love to do. And I'm, I'm continuing to train people. I have a passion about it. I, I love what I do. So it, it's either jiu-jitsu competition, gi, gi list, the Abu Dhabi or something like that. Or, or if they're in the UFC, you know, some of the top guys that I have coached, I, I see myself as, as uh, being passionate about it. And, and if I'm going to do something, I'm going to go 100%. I want, I want, my guys are an extension of my ability and, and, and I, I want them to win so bad. I think I want them to win more than they do. I've never even had a fighter that I've trained get tapped out. And that's, that's my biggest accomplishment, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, lo I love those guys because we get to, we bleed together, we sweat, you know, it's the whole thing, it's the, you train hard and, uh, you know, I, I just, I want them to accomplish their dreams. My thing is about expansion. I, we, we recently opened a school in San Francisco and uh, I'm really proud about that. I'm, I'm hoping to get a whole other demographic in there, uh, bringing in some of these kids that I normally wouldn't meet. In, in Lodi, you get the Diaz brothers doing their thing there. They've got Gilbert Melendez in the south side of San Francisco. You got Dave Terrell in Santa Rosa. You've got all these other guys, uh, Jason Manley, my black belt in LA at Rain Training Center. Um, it's just it's just been a thing where I've I've have a certain style of jujitsu. We have a certain style of aggression, and, and we expect big things from our guys. You know, I think with Brazilian jujitsu, I think what Hoist Gracie kind of showed was that you can't win without it. You have to have at least the threat of it. It's all all the greats are black belts in jujitsu, so. It's something, it's such a strong part of fighting that without it, you can't win and, and therefore you have to do it, you know. Um, it's really a base that you have to have because without jujitsu, you're a sitting duck. And that's, that's what uh, was proven by Hoy speeding all these great strikers and everything because he'd take them to the ground and showed that there were fish out of water at that point. So I think uh, at least having the threat of being good on the ground makes the other guy have to stand with you or something. And it changes the whole dynamic of fighting, and I think it's uh, it's changed the sport forever. Come down and uh, visit us if you can, uh, Pleasant Hill, California, uh, 150 Longbrook Way, or our new location in San Francisco would be a good one, 175 DeHaro. And uh, any of the schools you go to that are associated with us, I think you're going to have a good time and love our training. My name is Cesar Gracie, and when I say jump, you say hella high.